Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading. We are going to get a message from Spirit for whatever Spirit wants to talk to you about between now and the end of June. So Pisces, let's see what Spirit has to say and this could be for anything general in your life as well as for a relationship. We're going to pull a card for each so that everybody gets a message of some kind. So Spirit, what do you have to say to Pisces? All right, this is for everything general, and then this is going to be for a relationship message. So let's do your tarot cards, Pisces, and see what sort of message spirit sets up before we reveal those cards. What do you have to say, Pisces, for the rest of June? Okay, two of swords, we're feeling blocked, something is hidden. All right, the world, the devil, king of cups, ten of swords. Oh, Pisces, you're a little bit fearful of something not turning out okay. Okay, eight of cups, wheel of fortune, two of cups. Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces. This really, uh, to me, it's like you're you're fearing the worst, and it actually turns out okay. All right, um, you know, with the World and the Eight of Cups, some of you this could definitely be about like some travel or a big move. Um, this could be going on like a first date. This could um, be starting a new job. All right. It's just it, there's something new on the horizon. And I say uh, some of you, this could be a trip or travel of some kind because we have the world and the eight of cups. OK, so there's um, something going on or is about to take place and you're really nervous. And if it's about a trip like you have a lot of anxiety about details, what's going to happen, is everything going to be okay, and, um, you know, if this is a move, same thing. Some of you, Pisces, I feel this could be about um, getting into a relationship with somebody, okay? Um, I don't feel it's like walking away from them. I feel like this is more about you walking towards somebody because I see the two of cups in the energy that surrounds you, okay? It's crazy because in your hopes and fears, you have the nine of pentacles, which is I hope everything truly works out great, but your thoughts, Pisces, are very fear-based. So even though you're saying, I hope everything works out, you're still, um, this is more like you're believing in the worst case scenario, the worst outcome over all the good stuff that could be, okay? And so I don't feel that you have anything to worry about, Pisces, especially with the eight, uh, I'm not the, sorry, not the eight, the page of pentacles coming out there as your um, final outcome. But let's look at this eight of cups. All right, so we got five of wands. Eight of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. And look at on the bottom, um, a lot of fear-based energy, a lot of worry, okay? Pisces, do not, do not walk away from something. Do not um, give up on something and don't not try something out of fear because... It's going to work out. It's going to be okay. Like, oh my gosh, Pisces, don't let fear stop you. Don't let fear stop you from whatever this is. 
Let's look at this page of pentacles. Four of Wands, the Fool, Ten of Cups. Look at that. Pisces, the Sun is next. Wow. This is what you fear right here. You're trying to say it's intuition, but it's not, Pisces. It's just fear. It's truly just fear and anxiety and uh, being caught up in your head and thinking of all the possible scenarios. Like, this to me is um, such a message of you got to get out of your head and just do it, whatever this is. Like you've just got to do it and uh, you can have an amazing outcome, Pisces. But with the Fool here, this is where you may have to kind of step outside your comfort zone, take a leap of faith, let it go, just believe, okay? Because Pisces, whatever this is about, like... Um, you travel, new living location, career, a relationship, like whatever this is about, you truly have nothing to fear. Like it's all going to be okay. It's all going to work out really nicely. All right. A lot of victory here in whatever decision that you are walking towards. A lot of victory here. Very, very blessed. Especially around um, if it's, you know, involving a relationship. So for general, we have the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, which is your water chakra, your emotions. Um, get those in balance. Stop worrying. And for relationships, look at that. We have man holding coin. So with this, to me, um, whether, you know, you're walking towards a feminine or a masculine, this coin um, could represent this person's very uh, well off financially, like they, they have it together, they can handle their business and they have extra to have fun, okay? Or this can indicate that this person is very serious about you and is offering you something substantial, okay, with that coin, a commitment, an offering of sorts. So Pisces... If it's around a relationship, I I don't think you should have fear. I don't think you should worry. If this is like you're going to be going on this first date, really just be free and calm and trusting because I see, I see it turning out so well. And look at this. We even got the King of Pentacles too, right? He's holding a coin as well. So I really feel, Pisces, um, for those of you that this is around a relationship, you could meet somebody while you're traveling and that might be what makes you afraid is that you and this person will be at a distance. But um, I feel, again, it's going to be a victory and you're going to kind of have to take a leap of faith in that. Um, some of you, this could be where you're deciding to get more serious in a relationship, maybe move in together, meet the families of each other, maybe go on your first vacation together. It's going to go great. No reason to fear. A first date for some Pisces in the month of June. Um, there's something about this person that's going to be a little intimidating to you, but they're going to absolutely adore you and ask you out again or offer you something. Okay, so um, when it comes to relationship stuff, it looks really, really good. It's like you just got to stop worrying and, and let things just happen. Okay, um, if this is about like, a job, a move, a vacation, anything like that. Again, Pisces, there is really nothing to worry about whatsoever. It's like working out beautifully. I mean, you got the Four of Wands, the Fool, and the Ten of Cups. That's ridiculous fun right there. Happiness. Six of Wands, King of Pentacles with the Sun. Um, in these relationship situations, Pisces, this is where somebody's like, I choose you, Pisces, be mine forever. Yeah, Pisces, it's like there's just no need to worry about anything here. Things are really working out lovely for you. Adjacent possibilities. 
patience, attachment, door to personal healing and happiness, and contract. Okay. Wow. Pisces. Um, door to romance. I was going to say, I feel like this is more... Um, this that has come out is more about the relationship message. Um, Pisces, I feel like whoever this is, there's something about them that intimidates you. Whether they have a lot of money, um, you find them really attractive, they're in a position of power, maybe they come from an incredibly wealthy family, like um, maybe they're younger than you or they're older than you. Like there is something about this relationship, this romance that kind of has you a little shook in, in a way of disbelief. Like there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. But way, Pisces, way. Like they want to offer the their heart to you. Okay, um... Somebody um, that you've already been dating, and look at this, 33 would be a 6, 6 in the month of June. Pisces, somebody is offering you love, okay? And it makes you very, very nervous. Even if this is somebody you're already involved with, it's like what they're asking for, what they're wanting is a, a big, big commitment, deep, deep attachment to you. And I feel like that freaks you out just a little bit because it's like, okay, you know, are they going to, if they have me, are they still going to be shopping around, you know? Um, also, for some Pisces, it may be like you didn't expect this to happen, this relationship to show up, and you're like, is this the right person for me? Absolutely it is, Pisces, <laughs> okay? Um, absolutely it is. Listen, this attachment let go of any fear-based energies. I don't care what it's about. Um, I just see it working out for you. You don't see it in that moment. But you are you are truly, if we come back to, to this card in the near future, if you look at this, where this is sitting, you're walking away from the Two of Swords, the uncertainty, not knowing, and you're walking towards the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, which is your hopes and fears. It's like, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Okay, and that could go for the good or the bad. And that's why Spirit's saying, oh, Pisces, be very positive here. It's going to work out great. So, Pisces, you're either walking towards a really wonderful person, you're walking towards um, increased finances. You're walking towards a better, improved situation. You're walking towards a better job, all right? It's different for all of you as this is general, but being blocked, you are walking away from that into something much, much more abundant and prosperous. And let's pull a few more tarots. I mean, we got <clears throat> some good cards. Like, your reading is, is real cut and dry. Like, all is well, Pisces nothing to fear um things are gonna work out great don't be intimidated by anybody who's trying to offer you love i believe they are very sincere right the magician two of wands seven of wands judgment and Queen of Pentacles, oh my gosh, Pisces. We got the King of Pentacles out, right? Why are you afraid of this relationship that's being offered, Pisces? Or why are you afraid for your current relationship to go to the next level? And for some of you, this might be a lot of fear around, you know, starting like a side hustle or your own business. Um, it's just... You hope for the best, right? But you you really do have a, a lot of fear-based energy getting really caught up in your head in all these scenarios of what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, what ifs. What I see is prosperity, abundance, stability for coming for Pisces. And when it comes to like a relationship taking place, this is serious. This isn't 
Um, I just want to have fun with you. This is I want to wife you or husband you. I see you. I see the potential of that in you. And maybe for some Pisces, you've been dating somebody and now they're like, let's move in. Let's go on vacation. Let's meet the family. Let's this. Let's that. All right. This is really in an existing relationship. You and your partner are going to the next level in some capacity. Okay. Um, whatever that next step would be for your relationship personally. Some of you are single and this is a beautiful, real commitment coming in, being offered. But again, there's something about this person that makes you feel a little intimidated and it makes you hesitant and gets you all caught up in your head. And Spirit's like, there's no reason for any of that. You know, if you look at somebody and you think they could have anybody they want in this world yet here they are trying to get your attention, then you need to be like, okay, you know, if they could have anybody, here they are choosing me. There must be something great and special about me, you know? And there is, Pisces. I just, I feel like the rest of June, everything's going to go okay. Things are really going to pop off in a better way than you anticipate. Let go of the fear-based energy let go of all the, the what ifs, this, what if that, in a negative capacity. And if you have to play the what if game, um, I'll do all the positive what ifs. What if this turns into magic love? What if this turns into a hundred million dollars? What if this turns into, you know, um, go with the positive Pisces because that's what I see taking place here for you and you walking away from fear and uncertainty into a lot of happiness and abundance, all right? And you got that as the outcome as well, something very solid, stable coming in for Pisces, all right? So those are your messages, Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.